Well, we formed out of other bands, and the three of us were all playing together. Uh, bass player Chris, Kyle drummer, and me, Ben, on guitar and vocals. And uh, we were planning on not forming a new band, but we had a bunch of songs written, and we had some studio time booked up, and our last band had fallen apart, so we figured, fuck it, we'll record these songs. Then we ended up deciding we wanted to do more and kind of try to form one last band out of it. And at that point too, Chris was just a villain, mm -hmm. wasn't he? Yeah, he wasn't really, he wasn't really uh, sold on the idea yet. Yeah, sold on the idea or committed to you know, just being locked down with one band or whatever and, and then uh, eventually over time it was just uh, became permanent. Stuck with Kind of worked out, yeah. So that's good. Yeah, and uh, we just wanted to form a, a band where we could mix all of our different influences and not have any kind of real constraints and just write rock and roll music with an upright bass and then the three of us are just completely different as far as all of the music that we listen to on our own time or the influences that we've accrued throughout our years. When the band came to fruition, it it, uh, it morphed. You know, it started as almost like a traditional rockabilly band. We we kind of quotations lost our original basis, 
And so there's where Chris kind of came in and uh, was the fill-in. And at that point, it was more geared towards traditional rockabilly. And then we kind of, we wrote a song called Lemmy that kind of really opened our eyes to what it could turn into. And that's why we've just always stuck with that, that upright bass. It just kind of works out. This band started out um, before we even had a name in the studio, like I said, and so we were recording like eight songs, but the studio ended up being a nightmare and it was like literally run by like a crackhead and then another guy who was on like meth and crack and everything. And so we wound up walking away with like three songs, yeah. two of which we weren't even that happy with. And uh, and then with we that, it took like a year into this band existing to even finish those songs and to get the tracks and everything about them. So it was like our first year as a band and we finally were able to release like an EP. And by the time we released it, we weren't even playing two of the songs <laughs> anymore or wanting to rather. And then two of them didn't even turn out near the way we wanted them to. So after that, it took about like a year and, and some change to get back in and start recording what would be our first actual like debut album. So our seven song album, Bruiser. 
And even with that, that one had like eight, nine months of setbacks. Uh, yeah. A producer who was slated to master it ended up having to go to jail and rehab. So we ended up like getting into everything that dealt with that and then all the delays and everything that goes with that. And we were out on tour and we were supposed to have our album already and we didn't. That, so yeah, I guess what I'm getting at is like in three years we had like an album, an EP, but now we've got pre-production for our second album. We are finishing up this week the tracking for a three song seven inch. And then we uh, have a music video that's gonna be going with that that we're finishing up this week. And and then we'll also be ready you know, for the second album because we've got uh, eight songs done pre-production and we're finishing up writing like three or four more to do you know, 10 to 12 songs or so. Ben usually has, comes in with riffs and he'll come in and, and, and it's funny too because we live together and so like I'll be asleep and I'll hear him and they're like playing on the acoustic and then he'll he'll come in a room with a riff and it's like oh yeah I remember that one I know I know what you're I working heard that on. in my dream <laughs> <laughs> but he usually comes in and then it's it's usually me and Ben that kind of kind of get the foundation going we kind of get the parts going we find ideas find out what works and then um, we'll get a good idea formulated. And then we'll show once we've gotten, gotten you know, it's not going to be 100 percent, but when it's it's tight enough, we'll show Chris, and he's really good at, at kind of stepping back and saying, oh, you know, like structure and 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 putting things in places and saying, well, those kind of sound cool together, but if we wrote something like this and put it there, that would really make the part work. And he's really good at that stuff, and he's really good at saying, well, you know, that song sucks, or like <laughs> I like this one, or whatever, and and it, and it kind of pushes us to kind of go out of the box, but kind of stay within the box, I guess, if that's possible. Um, that's why get... we call him Chris the Producer Parish. 
<laughs> but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And a lot of jamming, man. Like a lot of times, like we'll go out to write a song, and we'll f- we'll finish it. We'll get it like all the parts together, and we'll get it tight enough to really judge it. And then like we just won't be happy with it. And then we'll jam something in, in 15 minutes. We'll just jam. We'll just play. Just sit down and just play. And all of a sudden, if you, this idea comes up that becomes like, again, that song Lemmy was like that. Me and Ben just sat down and that song Lemmy literally like wrote itself. It just, we just jammed it out. And it's one of our better ones in my opinion. <laughs> 